Treasure Hunters, welcome to the show. Today I want to be talking about getting the chest home. I see a lot of searchers on the forums and blogs and stuff. They're, they're worried about things like taxes and um, lawsuits and stuff after the chest is found. But that's not one of my main concerns. One of my main concerns is just getting home with the chest, and I'm going to tell you why. Right here, guys, this is what I'm worried about. I'm worried about civil forfeiture. Let me tell you why. I, I have made so many trips, and I'll bet at least half of those trips I've been pulled over, and it's always coming from west to east. Um, the police are mostly concerned about just searching for drugs. The traffic stop almost involves a search every single time. Uh, I've been pulled over for so many bogus reasons. I've been uh, pulled over because they didn't see me signal a lane change. The reason they didn't see me signal a lane, cha lane change is because I didn't make a lane change. Uh, I've been pulled over for one mile an hour over the speed limit. And it's almost always the same thing. They get up behind you. They're running the plate. They pull up beside you to profile to see, you know, what you look like and stuff like that. Then they drop back behind you. And sure enough, the lights come on. Um, every one of my stops has been uh, this side of east, east of Amarillo, trying to get to the Oklahoma state line. Every single one of them have been in that area. Um, it's and always, uh, always kind of an illegal search. You know, the officer walks up, says, "Oh, I stopped you for this or that. Ask you for your information." Stalls long enough till you know they arrive with a drug dog. They always want to walk a dog around the car the car it doesn't matter they will always tell you the dog hit on the car every single time um, I've had my father along on a couple trips now he's uh he's in his uh, mid 70s and they've had him out you know staggering around on the side of the road in the cold weather you know he has problems walking he's had a bunch of surgeries and stuff he's got he's got cancer himself but they, they don't care. It's almost always an illegal search and all they're looking for is drugs and as soon as they do the search you're free to go. No tickets, no nothing. You know, have a safe trip. So guys, if you've never heard of civil forfeiture, here's what it is. Let me, let me read this to you. Civil forfeiture laws allow the government to take cash, cars, homes, and other property suspected of being involved in a criminal activity. Unlike criminal forfeiture, with civil forfeiture, the property owner doesn't have to be charged with any, let alone convicted, of a crime to, per to permanently lose his property. So that means once they find it, if they suspect that you took that off of state property, or you say you're leaving Yellowstone, they suspect you took it off of state property, or Indian Reservation, anything along those lines, all they have to do is say that they suspect it, they take it, and you lose it forever, you don't get it back. That's the one thing that I'm worried about trying to get it home. Um, anybody has, uh, you know, every, every state is different on this law, but you know, if anybody has uh, any suggestions for somebody that lives out east trying to get it back home. I think I believe K-Pro said that she would try and get on a train with it. Um, you know, drop some comments down below. This is something that probably needs some attention. Um, you know, especially like, if they find it, you you know you know they're gonna say, hey, this, what are you doing with all this gold? Also, what if Forrest had stuck a large amount of cash in her? You know, he says there's something special in there for the finder. If there's a large amount of, amount of cash in there, you know, they're gonna come up with a reason to take that chest. You know, so anybody's got any inform any information that might help with this, you know, put a comment down below. Um, I want to thank everybody for watching today. I'm Rick McDonald. You know me as Illinois Ghost. Uh, please don't forget to like and sub subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you tomorrow.